I'm Jared, the head of product at Dagster Labs. Today we're announcing a brand new data catalog as part of Dagster Plus. But before we get into that, let's talk about the unfulfilled promise of data catalogs. As your organization scales, the number of assets you have to manage also scales. It doesn't take long before you end up with a large number of rarely used data models with poor documentation and questionable provenance. The central premise of data catalogs is to resolve all of this by helping teams avoid rework and duplication and help data practitioners work more independently by enabling them to discover and use trusted data assets. Unfortunately, because standalone data catalogs don't have a native understanding of data operations, they have to create observations about the state of data assets from the exhaust of the loosely integrated tools that comprise the data platform. As a result, data engineering team ends up constantly troubleshooting problems of accuracy and timeliness in the syncing the state of their data assets to the data catalog. All the while, they are trying to coax the rest of their stakeholders to follow a new set of development practices to ensure that it remains in sync. Typically, the end result is a lack of adoption from the very downstream stakeholders that the data team was trying to help. Unlike traditional workflow orchestrators, Dagster is asset-oriented. It places data assets at the core of the development framework. The result is a powerful combination of context about data operations and the outputs of those operations. This view of data assets and operations makes Dagster a natural tool for data discovery and documentation, creating a data catalog that serves the needs of all practitioners. With the launch of Dagster Plus, teams who want to spend less time managing integrations for their tools and more time getting things done will find it particularly useful as a new system of record. And while we're still early in our journey, we are already seeing that, for many teams, this eliminates the need for traditional point solution data catalogs. The first major set of improvements focuses on the kinds of data that Dagster collects and displays at the asset definition level. On the asset details page, you'll now be able to find a new variety of information about your data asset that helps you understand the status, technical state, definition, ownership, location, and more all at a glance. You can see things like the latest status of your asset, including the data quality testing configured on the asset, its description, who owns the asset, what groups and tags are associated with it, as well as where the asset is located, its compute details, and the associated resources and compute kind. And for structured assets, you'll now find a new rich set of details, including any raw SQL that defines the asset structure, metadata about column names, descriptions, and data types. And an exciting new change that we're launching for enterprise customers is the ability to explore the lineage of individual columns on the page. When automatically ingested from DBT or derived from user-provided metadata, Dagster can compute the relationship of individual columns and represent them on the page similar to our asset lineage graph. Column lineage provides a clear understanding of how data moves and transforms within a system, allowing you to track things like the proliferation of PII or tracing a mistake through its various downstream tables. This new feature will help you manage data quality, compliance, and increase the speed of your troubleshooting. But our feature release doesn't stop with the asset data model and UI. We're also releasing a new, more powerful search experience to help you quickly locate the most relevant data. From this interface, you can search for data assets by metadata, including their name, their compute kind, the asset group, the asset owner, or by any associated tag that you add to your assets and see information about all of your data assets by their associated metadata. I wanna call out a feature here that might get passed over, which is definition level tags. With definition level tagging, you can more easily add cross-sectional data to organize and group your data assets. So now you can tag all of your intermediary assets or your assets with PII or the assets to support your finance team and make these assets easily discoverable by their relevant stakeholders. Dagster's data catalog experience is powerful because of how it combines context about data pipelines and the data assets they produce. But we know that not everyone needs to look under the hood inside Dagster. Sometimes your data practitioners just need to know where to find the right asset. And that is why we're also launching a new capability we're calling catalog mode which allows you to hide most of the operational views of Dagster and instead focus on the assets that Dagster has documented. This new feature can be turned on by default for your viewers in your organization or turned off when they need to go deeper. So that's our high level introduction to the brand new data catalog and search features in Dagster Plus. We expect this addition will make it easier for all teams on the data platform to find information about their data assets and status and to operate more autonomously while reducing the operational burden on the platform team. You might find it helps eliminate the need for standalone tools, which will reduce context switching, help break down data silos, and reduce the total cost of ownership of your data platform. We know that data cataloging is an important capability for teams, and we're excited to be rolling out this first version, but we're not stopping here. Sooner Catalog will also consume data about assets that are not managed by Dagster and represent them in the data catalog as external assets. I hope this first overview has you interested in the new data cataloging capabilities in Dagster Plus, but check out the companion blog to find out more.